What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best dash cams in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or it's particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. If you want to save some money without risking the quality, we say check out the Garmin Dashcam Mini 2, the best budget dash cam on the market in 2022. Despite not having a screen, this discreet control camera has a lot to offer. And despite its lightweight, you can feel the quality of this control camera through its grill effect mask and robust plastic housing. The minimalist design also extends on the two buttons, one for storing and the other for muting and unmuting the microphone. Don't be fooled by the small frame. The Mini 2 hides an impressive arsenal of features. For starters, there is error detection, which saves the video after the incident and sends it to the Garmin Vault online. The Mini 2 also includes voice control, a rare feature for a dash camera at this price. Also, the parking attendant alerts you to suspicious activity near your vehicle, although you will need an active Wi-Fi connection and wiring setup. Finally, the Live View feature allows you to watch live streams from your camera using a smart device when you're away from your vehicle. As with the Garmin Big Brother Control Camera Sisters, setting up the Garmin Mini 2 is super easy. The small adhesive backing provides solid support, not least because the camera is extremely light. The product size also means that it can be placed anywhere on your windshield and still look ultra discreet. Another trade-off for its size is that the Mini 2 doesn't have a lot of battery, so you'll need to keep the power connection active to extract your files. Users can adjust the Mini 2 settings with Garmin's companion app, Drive, which can connect with up to four control cameras at once. For a small 1080p camera, we were impressed with the image quality. During the day, the colors are usually well balanced and the image is sharp. The sensor delivering 30 frames per second helps ensure uninterrupted video. There is no problem with the sound either, because the microphone clearly captures voices. Even with medium volume, you'll still be able to execute your voice commands. Garmin has invested a lot in the Mini 2, and the result is a camera of solid quality that should not be overlooked. For the listed price, we are beyond impressed. If you're in pursuit of the top bang for the buck, we say look no further than the Nexar Beam, the best value dash cam available on the market in 2022. The device sports the 1080p Galaxy Core sensor and it does a solid job. On the left side of the camera are the power button and the micro SD card slot, while the right is dedicated to perforations for the ventilation of the unit. At the top side is the slot where the suction bracket connects the body and the mini USB connector. And that's it. Simple, clean, and easy. Nexar did a good job on the phone app. It is incredibly easy easy to connect the camera to the phone, and the interface is clean, well-organized, intuitive, and informative. Of course, you'll need to create a phone account to be able to upload videos. You can limit Beam's phone memory usage to 20, 50, or 80 percent available. When you reach that limit, it'll override old videos. There is also a G sensor that starts the auto-load, and it works perfectly. Beam records top-notch 1080p video at 30 frames per second. We were especially impressed by the stabilization of the movement, even on uneven local roads with occasional bumps, video remains stable on the horizon without tearing or jumping. The colors are pretty accurate, the details are connected, and the overall image quality is good. Users were a little worried about the battery life while the Nexar app was launched. When connected to a control camera and when in use, the app will obviously use some power, so keep charging your phone if you're on a long trip. An auxiliary power connector with dual USB ports included in the Nexar helps with that. When used in combination with your phone, the Nexar Beam provides a great camera experience, very easy and with an elegant design. For the listed price, you can't beat this one. Want a top quality beast? We say look no further than the Vantru N4 for you. By far the best premium dash cam available on the market in 2022. The special thing about the Vantru N4 dash camera is the three lens function mode. This means that your car is loaded with three different tracking cameras. The 170 degree front camera captures all the details in front of the car. An internal camera with a wide angle of 120 degrees captures everything in the car. The rear camera with a wide angle of 120 captures everything that happens in the background. The N4 has a built-in advanced chip and a Sony Starvis CMOS sensor which are enough to provide simultaneous shots with resolutions up to 1440p and 1080p in all three directions. Really impressive. With the help of these so-called VDR technology, the device delivers a crystal clear field of view. The indoor camera has four infrared LED lights that accurately record all activities, even in complete darkness. The audio recording is superior to many other models. 
it records everything except the quietest conversations. Here, all three cameras automatically record when the front or rear camera detects movement. If the memory card's full, the N4 automatically overwrites old videos and supports a maximum of 256 gigabytes for storage. Another quite useful feature is 24-hour parking monitoring. Automatic parking monitoring is activated as soon as the front or rear camera sensors detect movement. But the shots are not only taken near the vehicle, the camera turns on inside the vehicle and records all activities. 24-7 monitoring can be done with a hardware kit and provides under-voltage protection before the battery is discharged. The built-in G-sensor automatically detects sudden jerks or collisions. The control camera will save the recording in the emergency archive in a special location on the memory card. Installing the Vantrue N4 dash camera is very easy and fast. The picture quality of the video and audio is excellent. The rear camera is connected to the control camera using the included cable, and the power cord is connected to the cigarette lighter. The cameras are activated immediately and are ready for use. If you can afford this beast, we say go for it. Up next, check out the Garmin Dashcam 67W, the runner-up best dashcam available on the market in 2022. Anyone who loves cycling, running, hiking, or any outdoor activity is probably familiar with the Garmin family of computers, smartwatches, and navigation aids. The main novelty with this model is the ability to connect to a reliable Wi-Fi source and take full advantage of its newer connectivity capabilities. Users can open the Garmin Drive app and get live streaming from the camera, even when the car is parked. When you're online, the camera will automatically upload clips saved to the Garmin Vault where they'll be stored for 24 hours or longer if you subscribe to a storage plan. The Garmin Dashcam 67W includes sharp 4K 1440p videos taken in optimal lighting conditions and on those gray rainy days, all thanks to the HDR function. As with most dash cameras today, the tiny Garmin will automatically send the recording to a micro SD card when the built-in G-sensor detects movement. It also records in a permanent loop, replacing all old recordings that were not saved by the system or the user manually. The interaction with the unit is via four small buttons on the side. But remember, 67W is about the size of a matchbox, so those buttons aren't very big. The screen is only two inches wide, so it's great for a basic setup. Surprisingly, the battery life is about 30 minutes when the power is off, but the camera will try to turn it off as soon as it detects that the ignition's off. This means that longer surveillance tasks will require a considerable amount of cables, but this is the same as any other competitor product that offers these permanent connection functions. The big difference between them and the Garmin Dashcam 67W is that in order to get the most out of the Garmin smartphone app, the camera must be on a Wi-Fi network, which is achieved through Garmin Drive. Furthermore, the ability to automatically upload any clips stored in the cloud can add more peace to anyone who needs to catch evidence of an accident or imminent failure. This is a quality product, and all we can do is recommend it. After all the carefully summarized reviews, opinions, and experiences, we can freely conclude that the long-awaited title of the best overall dash cam in 2022 goes to the next base 622GW. The gold medalist for today, the next base 622 GW is now here and is literally full of new, useful features. Unlike the 522 GW, the new model has a higher 4K resolution, image stabilization, extreme time mode, and more, making it easier to tell the emergency services exactly where you are. The 622 GW also has a built-in Alexa support, along with an emergency SOS service, which is free for the first year, and then you have to pay a small subscription. Next, you can plug in one of the three rear camera modules that the manufacturer offers and turn it into a rear-facing front camera that captures synced images on the same micro SD card. The device sports a traditional 3-inch control camera design with a large 3-inch rear screen, which means it doesn't hug the windshield and stays away from sun visors like the Viafo A129 Duo, for example. This model sports a magnetic mount attached to the side of the lens that makes it more compact than many cameras in the car. There is a GPS receiver in the carrier, and there are two options, suction or adhesive. The main feature is, of course, the 4K video. The device shoots at 3840 by 2160 pixels at 30 frames per second. This is well over the 2560 by 1440 pixels that the 522 GW can handle, and the image quality is further enhanced by digital stabilization. The larger pixels of the new sensor definitely contribute to better quality at night, because the video is noticeably sharper than any previous Nextbase control camera and has much more detail and better contrast. Nextbase 622GW delivers premium features at the best possible price quality ratio. If you want the best, this is it. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.